Hunty. Welcome back to Way of Yao. My name is Yao and it is a pleasure to see you all. How is everybody? I hope you are goody, goody, goody. As you can see, we are serving a brand new hairstyle. Well, it's not brand new, it's actually an old hairstyle. I used to rock this back in like 2018 or something, or 2017, so I'm bringing it back. Literally, I was just taking out my braids and I was like, I actually just wanna rock my own hair for a bit and see what we're serving. So let me know down below if you are living for this style or if you prefer the braids on me. I don't know, I kind of like the look of something long, but I do like this like small like, it's like a cutesy sort of style, do you know what I mean? So I do like it as well. So, on that note, also, I don't know if you guys have been noticing but my teeth are looking whiter than they used to. We've been doing teeth whitening, something that I've wanted to do for such a long time, but I wanted to do it correctly. So yeah, I am getting it done at Sparkly Smile and they literally have transformed my teeth already. I still have a few more weeks left to go of my teeth whitening journey but already i love what i am seeing on camera they look so sparkly and white so for this look we decided to give you something more royal these colors are screaming royal to me it's giving you that that majesty like oh bow do you know what i mean it's giving you that sort of rich velvety shimmery sort of vibe and usually i don't usually use shimmers i don't know if you guys have noticed i always do like a very pigmented vibrant matte look but i thought why not use shimmers and the palette that i was looking at i was like these shimmers are too good not to use so this is what we are serving this is the look that we have on boys and girls so we're gonna get into this look without further ado let's get into this tutorial so to start off as usual, I'm going to be using concealer as my eyeshadow base But I've noticed that when you're working with reds If you start off with too white of a concealer, the red can easily start to come off as pink So I'm going to go in with a darker concealer, something that matches my skin tone better And isn't too light so it doesn't mix with the um, products I'm going to use and make it look all pink We want it to look nice and red and rich so I'm going to go in with this dark concealer. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer in the shade C14.5, darling. Does it have an actual name? No, it's just a number system that they're using. I like it when they have names like, you know, coffee or honey or chestnut, mahogany. I like that, it, like, it sticks in my mind. I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out, of course. I'm going to be taking my Suva Beauty matte liquid lipstick in the shade Basharam and I'm going to be placing that just above my immediate crease and as usual I am using the back of my hand to place the product on so that I can control the amount that I actually place onto the eye and guys I actually need to ask you your opinion on something so I don't know if you guys can actually hear how much noise there is in the background of my videos but it actually aggravates me a lot like it aggravates the hell out of me and um there's certain times where it's just so noisy outside that i'll repeat what i've said like two or three times because it's like i can still hear like stuff driving past and it's just so aggravating so i'm, I'm kind of thinking to change rooms and have my current bedroom become my filming room and then have my current filming room as my bedroom. The reason why I have my bedroom currently as it is is because it's, it's the larger room. And you know, you wanna fit a bed in there, you wanna be able to fit everything in there that you want to fit in there. So I've decided to make that the bedroom, but I'm starting to think maybe this needs to be prioritized more because I don't wanna be filming and then you've got all this noise in the background. It just, it's not cute. Of course I had to zoom you girls in. So you can get in on the T. Perfect, now for eyeshadow, we're gonna be dipping into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Pro Pigment Volume One Palette. And as you can see, these shades are absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna be mainly using this red here. Oh, don't close on me, Zoll. So we're gonna be mainly using this red here and maybe a little bit of this deeper shade down here. Just to, you know, give a little bit more depth I don't think I've actually dipped into this shade before. 
So it's exciting to see the pigment pay off because it is called Pro Pigment Palette. I must be honest and say that, mm, okay, okay, I'm giving it a chance. Cause at first I was gonna read it a little bit, but it's starting to look okay. So I'm gonna switch to this brush instead and see if that changes. Okay, yeah, that's a big difference. That's a lot better. It is actually going on quite patchy. I don't know if you can see that here. It's quite a strong pigment, whereas here it's starting to look quite dull. Yeah, now we're gonna be dipping into this shade down here. It's called E5. I would call it a brown that has a very deep red undertone to it. We live. I'm just kind of centering it there because the inner part of the eye, I want to keep it as vibrant as possible. I want to keep it super duper red. Now, we are going to dip into a little bit of the black. I just love how a red look, I don't know, it's just so zhuzhed up when you use a bit of black. So I'm going to use this to deepen it even further. Pack that, ooh, that got deep real quick. I'm going to pack that in there. Be careful with your blacks though, because as you know, it can easily transform from a red, like a red eye to a black eye. So be careful dolls, be very careful. As you can see, we are rocking a fallout moment, but that's fine. We'll wipe it up after. I am gonna go ahead and cut the crease using my Conceal High Coverage Concealer from Gosh. So now that we have cut the crease, I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I used for the deep brownish red shade and I'm gonna just blend out the edges of the concealer kind of to diffuse it into the black before we start packing colors onto the lid. Oh, it's not blending out as well as I wanted to, not gonna lie. Maybe this isn't the best concealer for cutting the crease and maybe it's just good for like an eyeshadow base. We're gonna be dipping into this um, shade here. It's like a it's like a bronze mixed in with red. That's what I would call it. Wow. Diffuse it a bit. Guys, just as a side note, this is the brush I've been using to cut my crease literally since I began. I first ordered some brushes from Morphe. This is a Morphe brush and I've literally had this brush for, it could be four years now. Absolutely love this brush and if I was to lose this brush, I don't know what I would do. So what I think I'm gonna do is head to the Morphe store and actually like take this with me and compare it and actually like buy a whole bunch of these because this brush is sick. I'm gonna go into this shade here. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how it's gonna look. As you can see, it's basically untouched. I just touched it a second ago to swatch it, but apart from that, I don't know what it's gonna look like on the eye. Can't say I'm crazy about it. I can tell already I'm not crazy about this shade. So now I'm gonna be dipping into C2 which is this, it almost looks like a green gold. Wow. Oh, right. Oh, wow. Wow. Literally, it's giving me shimmer, sunset. I don't know why, but like lava. It's just giving me, ah, oh, it's giving me my life, darling. So as you can see, we have finished off the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up any excess fallout because this palette did have a decent amount of fallout some of which i've already cleaned from the cheekbone region and next up on the list is primer so we're going to be priming using the elf poreless putty primer you already know the drill with this i'd be living for this point blank period boom and blend her all the way into the skin literally disappears but as you can see, it does help to give me a little bit more of a matter finish. Now for foundation, I'm gonna be taking the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Chestnut and placing that on my Kiko Beauty Spine. Sorry guys, it's run out, so this is what we do. Maybe it's bad for me to do it and it's unhygienic. <laughs> I do it anyway. So, I don't know if it's the most full coverage foundation. I'd say that it's still a full coverage, but it's not as full coverage as some as some of your most full coverage foundations out there. Now I'm gonna move on to concealer using the same concealer that I used to cut under my brows and for my eyeshadow base, the Revolution Concealer. 
popping that on the chin. It's giving me the yellow that I need. It's giving me the brightness that I need to then prep for a slightly lighter concealer. You're thinking lighter concealer? Yeah, I'm that bitch. So this is one thing that I always do with my concealer. And when I forget to do it, it turns out not as sharp as I would like it to be. But once you place it in one area, it does want to kind of cling to that area. As a lot of concealers will kind of give way and allow you to blend them out. This one is allowing me to blend it out, but girl, it's not making my life easy. Of course, me, I like to use my oils to remove my makeup. So I know that it's not going to be difficult. But for those of you who like to use a wipe, or you like to use like a micellar water or a very light cleanser, girl, this is not the one. It's gonna take you a little bit more than that to get this all off. I couldn't already feel that. Cause this is like a whole layer of face, like a whole new layer of face. This is C12.2. I'm just gonna pop that right on my under eye. Like it's just so thick. It's like crease proof. That's the, impression I get from it. Like my base is so thick that it's actually like borderline drag. Anyway girls, let's get to contour. We're gonna be using the Tilt Contour Stick. Of course we're blending out the jawline. I'm looking super duper crazy, but I tell you now, by the end of this look, everything will make sense. Well, we are definitely serving two different nationalities. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my, bra my sponge now and blend out the edges of that concealer. I literally had to set my under eyes off camera because I did not want it to crease while I was dilly dallying around. So, this is how we set it. You guys saw my last video, how we get down and freaky with the powder. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, we are looking a little bit like skidded, so I'm gonna use this blush. This is Hooker from Suva Beauty. And I'm going to just pop that on my cheeks like that. And then I'm, I will go ahead and contour just to add a little bit of um, definition back into the face. It's time to set the face. We're gonna be using the Makeup Forever mist and fix cover the eyes as i usually do because i don't want it getting onto my eye makeup oh so i just went ahead and applied some highlight i used the same color that i used here for here and i'm not gonna lie i do think it's a little bit too harsh um it's definitely not blending in the way i wanted it to but um it's a look nonetheless i'm gonna go ahead and do is highlight my top lip now. Whoa. I'm pretty sure they probably were like, we want Trophy Wife in an eyeshadow. And that's what they made. Now, moving on, we're gonna be taking the Bloodshot Matte Liquid Lipstick from Morphe. I wanted to use a nice, rich, deep red just to go on the outside. So that is what we are gonna be dipping into. Wow, that is rich. And you know how we do the cupid's eye. So I'm gonna be using this sleek matte me in the shade Platinized Plum. Yeah. And I'm literally just gonna pop that here. Oh. Just along here. Now wetting my brush, I'm gonna go ahead and take that gold and I'm gonna use it as my in a corner. Now I'm gonna go in with a good old pair of thick lashes and I will be back to show you the final look. So, this is the official look. I don't know why I wanted to put this top on, but I was just feeling royal. The color scheme was giving me very much royalties, right? So I put this T on and I feel as though it complements the look perfectly. I hope you guys love this look. Let me know once again down below if you like this hairstyle. I don't know if I should keep it or not, if it's the most flattering on me. I can't help but feel as though like long hair looks better on me. I don't know, but you guys let me know what y'all think. If you like this look, make sure to hit that like button, show your support, leave a comment down below, giving me your thoughts or whatever. Share it if you feel anybody needs to see this look. I think the world needs to see it, so every single one of you watches should share it. But it's up to you. And 
let me know what you want to see in the next video you know I can keep doing tutorials if you want me to but if you want me to get a little bit more up close and personal and give you a little bit more tea on me then let me know as well on that note ciao from y'all